stage away You know we doing major things Hit me up with that tape of fade Now let me hear what them haters say You want it, you need it I got it, don't get it Stay get it, stay get it Stay get it, stay get it You want it, you need it I got it, don't get it Stay get it, stay get it Stay get it, stay get it Welcome back to another haircut tutorial by your boy Matt Gift and Hands. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into this haircut tutorial, guys. This is going to be a major transformation on my boy right here. He hasn't had a haircut in probably over, I would say over a year now. Um, I've been at my suite going on eight, nine months now. And it's, I haven't seen him since. So almost a year. What I'm doing is I'm taking my number four guard with my wall cordless senior and I'm removing bulk. At the same time, on the opposite hand, I have a comb and I'm feeding that hair down in, into the guard. That way I can create a nice shape all the way around his head. I wanna see what I wanna blend into. So I wanna remove that bulk. Um, he wanted a, a, a short haircut on the sides with some length on top, comb over, a hard part so we're gonna go ahead and do that but I want to create a foundation I want to know what I'm cutting into um, so I'm taking a number four guy like I said and feeding that hair into the guard using my comb and this is a technique that helped me along the way of you know cutting into longer hair um, typically what happens is you see the hair bend or fold so it's not really feeding into the guard so using this comb technique uh, definitely helps out with longer hair whenever you're cutting longer hair. You just wanna make sure that that shape is all the way even, all the way around. You're gonna see me cross check my work when I get in front of the client. And then you just go back in detail and retouch up some, some of that bulk. But I feel like you have more control doing this method um, and then you know what you're, you know, you know what you're fading into. It's not like you're just cutting into longer hair up top. So we're going to do a number one on the sides, guys. We're not going to do a ball fade. Um, his hair is light enough to where you do a one. It looks almost like a shadow fade. So he like he likes that look. He also showed me the picture of when I cut his hair last time. So we went off of that. So number one, all the way close. And honestly, y'all have been asking for a number one on, on the side. So here it is. And it's blending into longer, longer hair up top. So take your number one guard all the way close, create your first guideline, and then you're gonna open up midway. When I say open it up midway, I mean the lever. The lever you're gonna push it in the middle, and then you're gonna open it all the way and go up about another half of an inch. So I'm, I'm making sure I kind of keep it dark towards the back side, um, just kind of contour the shape of his head. But now I'm jumping into my number two guard for my one guard. That number two guard is kind of scooping into whatever the longer hair is up top. Don't worry guys, we're gonna do a lot of shear work, thinning shears, so stay tuned. And we're also gonna do some clip rubber comb. And this is what I've asked for on my Instagram. If, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you saw that I posted a uh, questionnaire and I asked for what y'all wanted on my channel. So I feel like I kind of attacked this in this video with the number one on the sides, clip rubber comb, and some shear work. So pay attention, stay tuned. Watch this video guys, because I've noticed that with my algorithm going on right now, it's not going the way I want it to go, but we are going to, we're not gonna use that as an excuse or a crutch. We're gonna, we're gonna make sure we push that, that, that gas pedal, no brakes. We gotta keep growing this channel. I'll find my way back into that algorithm, but I got some dope content and dope ideas coming up for you guys. I, I hope y'all stick around um, and stay tuned for the content that I'm going to cr be creating. I'm trying to create a time frame for me to do that. So stay tuned for how I balance family and barber life, my clients. It, it, it's a lot, but I got two children. I got a wife at home. I, you know, it's I can't. I got to show y'all what works for me and hopefully that'll help you out. So you can see this blend coming in together, guys. Um, I use as high as a number three guard and now I'm just basically blending down. Uh, after that, I jumped to my one and a half guard to kind of remove whatever the one left behind and the number two. 
but you can see that blend is coming together again don't worry about too much of the bulk my client likes that area to be bulky but i also want to make sure i have a nice blend to it so don't worry we'll come back to that and blend that in with uh clip over comb and some some sheer work i'm just bringing this haircut together one section at a time i went to my one and a half guard around the back of his head and now i have my one guard open just softening up whatever the one and a half left behind and again the highest highest guard i used was a, a a number one the lowest guard i used was a number one rather so we know what we're blending into when we go back down so what you do to one side you do to the other guys give this video a thumbs up if you like it so far And again, make sure you comment below. Tell me what you think about my content. Tell me what you want to see on this channel going forward. And I'll see if I can get some of that done for you. Same steps, guys. I started with the one lever middle, lever all the way open, jump to my number two guard right here. And you're going to see that bottom panel is going to start to blend out. And then again, I'm going to use that same technique with, with feeding that hair into the guard using my comb. And I believe this is a number three guard yeah number three guard y'all were saying that uh my guards aren't color coordinated so y'all can see what i'm using as far as numbers i try to stay on track with that throughout the video so if you pay attention and listen i i kind of break it down step by step this is my number one and a half guard and you may see that i'm cutting a little bit higher than normal but i want to make sure i stack my blends i want to make sure i create a nice gradiency um from whatever the one left behind all right so now we're gonna go ahead and add some water to the top of his head and we're gonna do some shear work guys we're gonna do some nice shear work we're also gonna shape up his beard line it up so this is a, a total transformation it's a all right here we go we're gonna bring that hair up to the front create our first guy line and then we're going to use that in the front to go to the, the next panel pick up a little bit of that hair that i cut the first time and you're just going to use that as a traveling guideline all the way to the back you kind of want to leave the front a little bit longer as far as the veins that way you can have some nice uh, uh a nice style in the front you kind of flap that back because he does want to comb over but he likes to flip that the front kind of going towards the back if that makes any sense and then you can go a little bit shorter as you go towards the back he didn't want it too long up top so we're taking off quite a bit of length probably anywhere from three to four inches but i mean you saw how he came in he needed a dope transformation he came to the right spot and i've cut his hair probably about a handful of times um ever since the move uh we kind of just lost contact um he said he his phone just somehow it broke so he couldn't get a hold of me so i was actually at a park um with my daughter and, and i ran into him so now he's back in the <laughs> back in the shop i appreciate you coming by man and letting me uh cut your hair and record it for a video all right so now we're gonna go ahead and blend the sides in to the top using your regular shears not your thinning shears but we're doing a clipper over comb i'm sorry a shear over comb method um i'm not really cutting a lot of hair i'm really blending the tips into the top um and then we're gonna come back and finish it up and detail it up with some thinning shears to remove some dark spots but you could tell that that right here look i'm using the thinning shears i'm blending in those dark areas that were left behind and i'm kind of using that to cut into the top a little bit also add some texture to the top I love my thinning shears. I, ever since I knew what thinning shears did from Barber College, man, these things help so much. Making sure we blend it all the way around, removing those dark areas. If there's like dips and creases in clients' heads, you gotta make sure you look out for that and pay attention to that detail because there could be darker spots than normal for you to touch up and now i'm just doing some clear rubber comb method you want to make sure when you do this technique you have the bottom of the comb rested on the client's head and you want to bring the teeth towards you and this is going to help you create the shape that you want um so i'm going to kind of create like a square shape 
because when you're looking at a front profile it looks more of a, a square shape not too rounded right there i'm showing you how much hair i'm really cutting and i'm using my gamma ergos for this clipper over comb method they get they really cut clean and precise with this clipper over comb and i'm using a, a a flat tooth comb flat top comb rather <clears throat> All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start shaping up the beard. I'm using my Patty Cuts Babyliss FX trimmers. These things hit, man. Um, mainly what we're doing on the beard is we're just giving it a nice cleanup, a nice shape. We're not really doing too much detail or sharp, sharp lines. So he wants it as natural as possible, but you know, sharp at the same time. Just a tad bit. I went ahead and already tapered the back of his neck. Um, his hair is so light in that area that it wasn't you couldn't really see what I was doing as far as the steps of uh, blending the uh, you know zero to a number one but go back to all my videos on a lot of my tapers and it's the same steps as you do on that to blend that back in it's a see like it, you would like I can see what I'm lining up but the camera won't be able to really catch that all right, guys, when you're doing this right here, be very careful that you don't snag a nostril. <laughs> you want to be very careful. Have your client at its natural state, resting position, not like sometimes it helps to kind of stretch down a little bit. But um, just just be very careful and mindful of the around, around the nose area. Have a light touch. The clipper is going to do its job. And that what I use was a number one guard to knock down that mustache against the green right here is my favorite part when it comes to the beard i love freehanding and shaping um a beard so i don't want to cut too much off like i said he wants a nice trim and a nice shape to it but nothing too much taken off and i thought this is a dope angle where you can see what i'm cutting and grazing again get in front of the client kind of see what i'm doing All right, so I went ahead and added some water to kind of soften up his hair. And then I went ahead and added some 245 Royal Wax to style it. And I'm using the thicker side of my comb to create a nice shape and nice style using my opposite hand to kind of form it up top. And this is the finished product, guys. I hope you enjoyed this major transformation. I know my boy loved coming in and getting his cut. Thank you again. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment. And as always, Team Gifted, stay gifted.